I didn't even know this was going on because the mainstream media isn't talking about it anywhere in the English world. Explain to us, why are we seeing these, these striking images of so many patriotic Spanish citizens flooding the streets in 42 cities across the country? Of course. Uh, well, last summer, we had general elections in our country. And, uh, the um, you know, we, we couldn't form a government. Uh, actually, the Patriots and the Popular Party, um, which are the two parties that believe in national unity, uh, weren't able to form a government because we lacked four votes in the, in the parliament. So finally, the socialists and the communists start negotiating to renew its government and to renew this government to 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 stay at power they just need to uh, sign an arrangement with separatist movement in spain separatist movement is the catalonia uh, mafia politicians that he, did a coup d'etat in 2017. They actually uh, were judged for that and they had their final, their final sentence. And politicians as Puigdemont, which was the president of Catalonia in that moment, is uh, actually, you know, he actually had to run away from Spain in a, in a car. And, and he's actually in Brussels, in Waterloo. So uh, first of all, that the negotiation about uh, the, to how to renew the Spanish government um, has, hasn't even been uh, negotiated in, in Madrid or in Spain. It was actually negotiated in Brussels with this criminal that uh, actually, you know, um, run out of the justice in our country. And in the end, last Thursday, they just signed this deal. And the deal is like a really serious uh, deal for our country. Um, our sovereignty is at, st at stake. Our, our unity is at stake. Our integrity is, is at stake. So all the patriots in our country are now in the streets. We just, uh, you know, we just had lots of demonstrations. Uh, last Sunday, there was huge demonstrations all across the country. You can see these images. Millions of people went out the street, you know, families, uh, um, young people, uh, you know, all kinds of people were out. And they just wanted to say one thing, that they want the our, the national unity to be respected, that our country and our sovereignty are not for sale, and they are also against this arrangement that they signed last Thursday, which has uh, like polemic points. One of these points is the amnesty law. So the socialists and the communists actually promised the separatists that they were going to run an amnesty law in the parliament. Which this means is that uh, the the criminals in last 2017 are going to be amnestied. They're going to pardon their crimes. I mean, amnesty is not an indult. Amnesty is like the act mm, that denying that the act even happened, and the the crimes that the separatists committed were not only rebellion or secession, they did a strong coup d'etat in that moment, but also we had other crimes as terrorism in the streets in 2017. So Spanish people is wondering if um, this socialist and communist government just need a bunch of votes uh, from the separatists. And to buy those votes, they are going to run this law which is pardoning all their crimes, why do uh, Spaniards have to obey law? I mean, it's like they, the, the, it's a huge, um, it's a huge break of the rule of law state in our country because so what they have no legitimacy. Uh, the government is no more legitimate to, to, um, to, to, you know, to, to tell people that they have to to obey the law to obey the constitution if the government is the first one breaking the constitution 
actually. In the end, you know, a politician that is pardoning the crimes of other uh, politicians um, as, a, as, a, as an operation, if they need their votes, that's corruption. That has no other name. So in the end, this betrayal to to our integrity, to our unity, to our sovereignty, to our country has also another point. Because in the deal, they actually also, um, one of the points is the referendum point, which is also illegal in, and it's also unconstitutional in our country. And they also signed that part in the deal. But they also signed... Um, other point, it, it, which is scandalous in our country, and it is that they are going to proceed to um, now uh, an international relator for the Catalonian conflict. I mean, there's no international conflict. It's a national thing that has been solved in the, in the tribunals with the judges. There's no international conflict. We do not need an international relator. This is an attack and a betrayal against an, against our sovereignty, our national sovereignty. So Spanish uh, patriots are on the streets. And actually, we were last Sunday, um, like a massive way last Sunday morning, but Every day we are on the streets, every night in the headquarters of the Socialist Party.